みなさん、こんにちは。僕はニックです。これは日本語のストリームです。頑張ります。Guys, let's do another Japanese stream here. We're going to be doing day 120 at the end of today of Duolingo. That's crazy, guys. 120 days? Holy crap. Now,、uh, what is that? Four months, I guess, right? Assuming it's 30 days a month, roughly four months. Good stuff. Good stuff.、Uh, if you don't know the channel you're watching, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week.、Um, this is a secret fourth daily stream that we've been doing for the last 119 days up to now, where I brush up on my Japanese through Duolingo, and you guys are able to join along with me. Welcome into the show, guys. Gambate kudasai. Now, let's. Get it going. If you want to see which games are being played on the channel, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You will get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going right now. And if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit that follow button as well. Up top, you see a follower goal of nine. We're currently at five, so we are moving, guys. We're over halfway. The 28th entry in the Twitch playbook is out right now as well. That one is called Make Your Streams More Watchable. And that's going to help you to increase visibility on your streams for everyone who's watching, no matter what platform they're watching on. Uh, if you don't know the Twitch playbook, though, it is a free podcast I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. Every episode is 10 minutes or less, so it's very bite sized and it's been coming out for the last 28 weeks in a row, so there's plenty of it. You can find it on iTunes, on Spotify, on all the major podcast platforms by searching the Twitch playbook, or you can type exclamation mark playbook into the chat. You'll get a link directly to it. Welcome in, guys. y o k o s o And let's get it going. So, you can see on the Duolingo leaderboards here, we're at 21 this week. We have a day left to do this. So, assuming we、uh, do our stream again around now, we'll get another stream in before the, the leaderboards close. The thing is, sometimes, like on Sunday or one of the days of the week, I'll do Duolingo at like 8 p.m. or something. Like, if I do it at 8 p.m. on Sunday, It, the leaderboards will have already closed. So then we'll like miss that opportunity to get that last lesson in. So we have to not, <laughs> not do that. What did I do? Oh, I said it at. Good stuff. All right, let's get some practice in. These are all concepts that are very new to us that we're practicing right now, so we're probably going to get most of them very wrong. <laughs> See, like, the, this is a pretty long and complex sentence that we don't really know a lot about. I believe first you pass a big hospital would be Hajime ni Okina Bioin no Soba o Torimas. Oh, I think we got it. Hajime ni Okina. Damn, we got that whole thing. Was not expecting that, guys. Yatta! This path goes southwest.、Um, Kono michi wa. Southwest, damn. Ugh, crap. I wouldn't even know. I, I don't even have anything. Kono michi wa. Michi wa. I'm gonna say at least try to make southwest, so I think it would be this. Nanse. Nanse. Ni ikimasu. Ni ikimasu. So we're gonna mark it as wrong because we didn't know it. Kono michi wa nanse ni ikimasu. So we, write, we wrote it correctly, but I never mark that as right if we write it correctly after not knowing it. First, you exit the building. Hajime ni.、Um, oh, what's the thing for building? It's a.、Uh, Tatemono. E. Demas. O demas. Hajime ni tatemono o demas. I believe it would be demas. I'm not exactly sure what version of the kanji you would use. The convenience store is west of the bank. 
コンビニは銀行のウェスト、I don't know、セオあります I, ?I don't know what West is in Kunyomi form. We know it was Se a second ago from Onyomi. Kombini wa Ginko no West Nishi 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 Arimas. So we're going to mark that as wrong, but we got it right. Kombini wa Ginko no Nishi wa Arimas. So let's say this. If you're going to the West, then you're buying the really good rice. Because nish, Nishiki, I don't know, that's not that good. I don't have a good memorization technique for that. Nishi. I think my thing with Nishi was that it has s h i in it because it kind of looks like four. So it's like. It's ac actually, that's a pretty good memorization thing. It kind of looks like the, the kanji for four. So s h i is four. As a t u r n e r Konnichiwa, Niki san. Welcome, As a t u r n e r to the stream. Let's get a Konnichiwa for As a t u r n e r joining the show. Welcome in. We're reviewing some of these really hard new technique, new、uh, things that we just learned. So, getting a lot wrong, getting stumped, that's what you want. First, you pass by a small bank. Hajime ni chisa na ginko no soba o torimas. Hajime ni chisa na ginko no soba o torimas. The hospital is south of the convenience store. 病院はコンビニの south, I don't know what south would be.、Uh, is that one Minami? I think that might be right. Minami ni a r i m a s c o n v e n i e n t l y I don't know, wait. 病院は I guess that's 病院 Convenient. Oh, no. no.、Uh, Minami, which is this. Minami ni arimas. Good stuff. First of all, you,、uh, pa the, you pass by the small bank. Got him. I enter the hospital. I don't know what the, the verb、uh, for that is, or I don't know what the like, action version of it is. に入りますでは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、Oh man, are you ready for some Japanese learning as a tundra? This is all really important stuff,、um, and it's good that we're learning it. It's definitely the toughest thing we've gotten so far, though. A small hospital, Chisana b i o i n Chisana b i o i n Do ya te ginko ma de i k i m a s k a どうやって銀行まで行きますか How do I get to the bank? どうやってどうやって銀行まで行きますか行きますか行きますか病院に入ります。病院に入ります。I go in, that's it, I go in the hospital. So it's not いります。Iriguchi is for like entrance, but you don't use that version of the kanji for the verb of enter. It's haidimas. That's what it is. So,、uh, okay. I go. b 
病院はコンビニの南にあります。病院はコンビニの南にあります。Okay, so、uh, hospital, as for hospital, it is the south of the convenience store. 病院は,病院はコンビニの,ンビニの南,南に,にあります,ます。どうやって銀行まで行きますか As a turn saying, are you using any other materials besides Duolingo and Wani Kani?、Um, yeah, I'm actually compiling a list of、uh, the stuff that I've used. Not really in this instance of learning, but there's a lot of stuff that I've used before, sort of on and off. Those are the two biggest ones for me.、Um, in order to learn how to pronounce the characters and stuff, it's really important not to use either of those to attempt to like, get your pronunciation down. Because you won't learn how to pronounce things from Duolingo really well. But、um, I'm kind of like aged out of that because I, I already know how to pronounce the words mostly, or at least know how to pronounce the, ca- the characters.、Um, the words, obviously, you can learn how to pronounce the, the nouns on Duolingo, but you can't necessarily learn like, exactly how you should say, like, I don't know, like, ippon for like. One beer because, like, they won't, or like one, you know, long cylindrical thing because they won't necessarily even say it on Duolingo. But yes, I,、uh, I'm i using a couple of other things, but those are the two main ones. I would recommend listening for anybody who's interested.、Um, Duolingo, great for vocab and for grammar and mostly everything in like the level that we're trying to do. Wani Kani. I recommend not using until you're really good at hiragana and katakana at least.、Um, and I mean, really, pretty significantly solid at it.、Uh, and then, what you should do when you're first, so all you should do right now is Duolingo for anybody out there、uh, who's trying to like start Japanese. Start with Duolingo and start with one Japanese learning podcast.、Uh, I recommend JapanesePod101.com. Which is,、um, they have a bunch of free stuff on here where you can just like learn how to, you know, generally speak in Japanese and like, you know, a lot of conversational stuff. Because hearing it from a person who's actually talking, not from like a robot, is pretty important to like actually, I guess, like get all the, the words down and everything, or like the sounds. どうやって銀行まで行きますかどうやって銀行まで行きますか How do I get to the bank? I'm not trying to say that I have perfect pronunciation or anything, but I know at least、um, like more colloquial understanding of, of how something is pronounced rather than how the robot would say it. 銀行を出ます。銀行を出ます。The, I leave the bank. 銀行。Anyway, thank you for the question, Azra Tundra. I have now used it as a jumping off point to tell everybody about、uh, a, a pro tip. But to answer your question,、uh, I use a few. Yeah. Still haven't looked at Wani Kani yet because still slogging through the beginning Duolingo. Yeah, I would say, like, once you can, for 20 days in a row, know every hiragana and katakana without getting any wrong, and that's harder than you might think.、Uh, Once you can do that, then do Wani Kani. Because、um, the hiragana will, will slip you up, or the katakana will slip you up, or anybody out there. It, it'll come back and haunt you later, where it's like, oh, I thought I knew this, but I don't really can't tell the difference between ne and nu, can't tell the difference between like a and o, you know, wh- whichever ones look si- v- visually similar.、Um, because Wani Kani assumes that you know all that, and it's also like a more advanced, you know. Thing to learn. There's like a zillion characters. どうやってこのお店まで行きますか But it's super useful. I'm, I think I just crossed a month on Mani, Wani Kani and、I'm, I think I'm on level five.、Um, and yeah, there's a lot of useful stuff in there. It's helping me to understand Duolingo better too because obviously a lot of the kanji show up here, or at least a lot of the stems will show up here as well, where you like know the kanji are made up of different like pictographs so you can kind of like identify what the thing might mean. どうやってこのお店まで行きますかどうやってこのお店まで行きますか How do I get to the... How do I get to this store? 
Oops. And the nice thing about Wani Kani is that you can actually use it for free for the first three uh, levels, which is a pretty long amount of time. I think I it took me like two or three weeks doing Wani Kani very like, you know, they have their like regimen. So like you're, you know, it's very spaced learning where like you have to wait to like practice the thing again because they want you to like memorize it properly. Um, but yeah, Wani Kani, like to do their first three lessons, it takes about like two to three weeks. Because uh, the idea of Wani Kani, for anybody who doesn't know, I'll, I'll show this on screen as well. Uh, it's like the idea is that, I don't know how to really show it, but like you're supposed to learn how to speak, how to know all of the kanji, all of the basic kanji within a year. So it's not like, it's not even pretending like you might learn it immediately. Um, but that's wanikani.com, W-A-N-I-K-A-N-I.com. Uh, so it's like a regimen that will, in a year, the idea is it's going to teach you how to how to know all the different kanji, but like it's not trying to like speed you through it. Um, and you can do the free content, like they have like three weeks worth of free content that you could do on what, at whatever pace you want, or rather at their pace or slower, as slow as you want. Um, you know, at your leisure. So it's it's pretty cool. I mean, that's a lot of content for free. As the time was saying, I bought Teach Yourself Japanese years ago, never used it. The audio files are coming in handy now. Nice. I've never heard of that one. I'll have to check it out. Teach Yourself Japanese. I'll check it out right now. Ooh. Fluent You. No. Teach Yourself Japanese book, probably. Aha. The complete course. Cool. Well, check this one out as well, ladies and gents. Yeah, anything where they like speak speak to you um, in a thing that's like made to for speaking is really really useful. That's what I've found um, because that's like the missing link when you're doing Duolingo. But Duolingo will get you such a huge percentage of the way there. I enter the bank. See, look, they pronounce it as Iri when you say it, but it's actually Hairi. Um, oh, I think Nanse in this context might be a direction and west, I think. Maybe northwest. This store is to the northwest. No, I think it's southwest. But I have to write northwest because that's what I heard. We got it wrong. So that, that's the thing is like Duolingo is actually not made for you to do it like I'm doing it, where like they want you to look at it and go, oh, okay, I was wrong, and then type the right answer, and then it says, you were right. but. I don't do that, so if I didn't hear it correctly, then I do not count it as being right. How do I get to the convenience store? Passed by the intersection. Past. Oh, mashita. I didn't even hear ta. ta. See, that's a good. Kousaten no soba o torimashita. Torimashita. I just completely uh, passed over that. This path goes southwest. Um, kono michi wa. It would be uh, nanse ikimasu. Yeah, that's it. Kono michi wa. No. Michi. Wa. Nanse, Nanse, ni, ni, ikimasu. ikimasu. Got him. As a general thing, I like using different sources for learning. I found that it works for me. My family member is another source. They took three years in college, so I can ask them questions. That's really useful. Yeah, hearing it from a person, a real person, especially somebody that, like, you know, they know how to speak your own language and they have the perspective of what it's like to learn this other language. 
That's super useful. Yeah, I was able to do that when I was first learning because um, at my workplace, somebody was uh, uh, had lived in Japan for a couple of years and they could like, you know, kind of I could bounce things off of them sometimes. It was really, really useful. The convenience store is west of the bank. The convenience store is west of the bank. Konbini wa ginko no nishi ni arimasu. Because nishi is the one that sounds like, or it has shi in it, which is four, and the kanji for west looks like four. I think we got it. Konbini wa ginko no nishi. Yes, ni arimasu. Good stuff, ladies and gents. As Rotunda is saying, this was such a good idea for you to do on stream. Very inspiring for viewers. I really appreciate that. It's uh, it's been really cool to see like um, you know, everybody else who's learning and get to discuss things and you know, ask questions and it's been a really interactive thing. I think it's really helped me to learn a lot better and faster and more sort of like solidly as well because like it's all of us learning together, you know. Let's get some hearts in that chat for Duolingo. Um, this Michi Street, uh, Nansei Southwest, goes southwest. This street path, I guess, goes southwest. Kosaten no soba o torimashita. Kosaten no soba o torimashita. Kosaten uh, was a uh, intersection. I passed the intersection. Not pass. As a tundra getting those hearts. Thank you, as a tundra, and that's a very nice comment. Um, yeah, I wish I could um, stream Wani Kani as well, but I when I first was getting into it, I looked around at it and it. It just seemed like the kind of app that didn't uh, it didn't sort of like lend itself well to streaming. And when when you use it, you'll sort of see why. But it's like you it's not like Duolingo where like the lessons are waiting for you, uh, and you're supposed to do them like once a day. It's more like you pick it up like five times a day, but for a smaller amount of time. You know, so it'll be like oh like at five o'clock we here's like four things that you might have forgotten, and you like do it. And then it's like, oh, okay, at seven o'clock, here's like six things that you might have forgotten, and then you like do those. Um, so I was trying to think, and I was like, I don't think it would really work on a stream because, you know, it, we would have to like sit down for one, you know, session of it, sort of. But um, yeah, I, I do highly recommend Wani Kani. Nisi. Nisi. Okay, so this practice is going to tell us more about the directions, I guess. Um, north. Se. Se. That's just a regular hiragana. Mi or higashi. I guess that's east. Higashi. Oh yeah, remember the way we remembered this was higashi. It sounds kind of like hirari, which is left, and so it's like the opposite of what it sounds like, which is to say that it's the right and east. I, that's a really bad way to remember it, but Higashi. if it works, it works. Higashi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Nishi. Nikita. Kita. And you'll notice, if you pay attention to the way that they're pronouncing it, there's two readings in, uh, in Japanese. I'll go through this real quick, if anybody doesn't know. Uh, in there, there's two different Japanese readings. There's what's called the Onyomi and the uh, kunyomi, and the idea. Wow, I love all. I love the graphics on this site. What is this site? This is Tofugu. I think I've seen this site before. This site's great. Um, <laughs> there you go. But um, yeah, kunyomi and onyomi is like a concept of the all the Japanese kanji actually are just Chinese characters. And so the, the, I believe the onyomi reading is the Chinese version, the way that it would be, I guess, pronounced in, in China. And uh, the kunyomi is the Japanese version. So you basically have to 
I don't know where they show this, but like you basically have to remember two different uh, two different pronunciations. Okay, I guess this would be it then. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know if this is specifically it, but it'll be like, I want to find like a general, like where's like a really basic one that we could show. So like, okay. They're not showing ones that are like the same on both readings though. Ah, whatever. Anyway, that's, there you go. Okay, this is it. So water, I'll zoom in on this. And again, I don't know if, as a Tundra, you, you probably know this or might know this, but uh, for anybody who's watching uh, who doesn't, like the idea is that, so here's the kanji. You might have seen this kanji before. It represents water. It's mizu. And everybody um, typically says mizu when they, when they pronounce water. But it also, mizu is the kunyomi reading, the Japanese reading. And the onyomi reading is sui. And what it, the idea is that usually you use the kunyomi reading if it's like, uh, combined with like a like a hiragana so like uh, if like a lot of words will have like hiragana connected to the word and then it sort of indicates that you need to use that I don't think Mizu does that so it's a weird example but uh, sui will also be used in Japanese words so it's not just a thing to know like the onyomi reading of it like sui is used in for example the Japanese word for Wednesday has this kanji in it. It's, the, it's basically water day. All their days are named after uh, elements. Like uh, Wednesday is water, Tuesday is fire, tree is um, Thursday. There's none for dog, unfortunately. But um, yeah, so like suiobi is how you pronounce Wednesday, water day, even though you might have thought, why wouldn't it be mizu? So like there's two different pronunciations for every kanji. So it's important to know those, but the reason I'm mentioning all this is because they're teaching us multiple uh, pronunciations for these um, compass directions at the same time. Usually they'll teach us one and then teach the other, but in this lesson they've been teaching us multiple. So if you hear different pronunciations for the same direction, that's why. As I turned was saying, trying to look up that subject yesterday, oh, well there you go. Good stuff. I'm glad that I brought it up then. Yeah, it's, that's one of the things that's like really confusing about uh, kanji and makes it feel like a lot more hopeless. But it's definitely, Wani Kani does an excellent job of teaching you those because they'll, they'll dole it out where it's like, first here's the meaning of it in English, then here's like the one reading of it, and then here's the other reading of it, and they like test you on the different ones in a really, really smart way. Um, so that's, it's super helpful for that. Sit. Sit. Because Duolingo will, they'll teach them to you, but they won't necessarily tell you why, why it's one or the other, you know? So like the, the discussions are good for that, but um, I think Wani Kani will really help with those. Okay, here's the the, na uh, the days. I'm not sure if we're gonna get the Nishi is this. Nishi. It's Kita. Kita. This one is uh, Higashi. 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 Iri. Iri. This one is uh, South is Minami. Got him. Minami. Good stuff. Me. Minami is uh, south. This, nope. This. Minami. Uh, nishi. nishi. Kita. Kita. Uh, that one is uh, Higashi. Higashi. Iri. Iri. It takes about five minutes to get from the train station to the hotel by car. Eki kara hoteru made kuru made gofun kurai kakarimasu. Eki. Uh, where's Eki? Oh, Eki, eki. Kara. kara. See, they kind of trick us because sometimes they use Hotel. the hiragana, which you'd really never use, and sometimes they use the actual kanji. And uh, Duolingo is really smart about this, where they like slowly, they slowly introduce kanji and then start removing the hiragana versions of the word as you level up your like knowledge of it. But then sometimes they'll put the hiragana back in. So like you're always looking for both the hiragana or the kanji version. But that's actually really useful because a lot of manga, I've noticed that a lot of, like I, sometimes I try to read Japanese manga in Japanese, Japanese, Japanese. And uh, you will notice that a lot of the words don't use the, 
like textbook version or whatever like sometimes they'll just use like katakana to pronounce like a regular word or like uh they'll use hiragana for something that like is really confusing because there's like 50 different kanji that could use the same hiragana pronunciation um but you know it's like more colloquial so like i guess you have to be ready to to recognize any you know version of that word even if it's not necessarily like textbook or like correct grammatically correct eki kara hoteru made made kuruma de kuruma de 5 fun 5 fun kurai kurai kakarimasu kakarimasu minami is south minami this one is higashi higashi this one is kita, kita. nishi nishi de. De. as a japanese saying i I know du- Duolingo Japanese, from what I see in the discussions, is still going through growing pains. It's still relatively new compared to the other languages, but it's still very helpful. Yeah, uh, they, I think, introduced it like... I actually remember exactly when they introduced it, because when I was first learning Japanese, which was between the first and second Japanese trip, and we can figure out when that was by looking at the first Yakuza episode, because the... <laughs> The Yakuza, first Yakuza episode, a document of my trip to Japan. For some reason, I remember the name of this episode. September 17th, 2017. And that was between my first and second trip. So I'm going to say it was around uh, September 17th, 2017. No, that would have been my second trip to Japan. Yeah, because the first one was in, on New Year's of 2017. So it was around that point, maybe like mid-2017 that they introduced it. Because when I first started learning, they didn't have Duolingo for Japanese. And I was learning on a bunch of other apps that weren't really as good. And then when they introduced it, I switched over. And um, yeah, so it's only like, what is that, two years? So there's definitely a lot of stuff that's still going through like um, updates and stuff. But it's really, like, they do, just do a very good job. It, Duolingo does a really good job of it. I go to the north. Um, so I'm not sure if you'd use kita for, I'm gonna say you do. Kita e ikimasu. Kita e ikimasu. ikimasu. Now, ah, oh crap, do they let us copy this? Kita e ikimasu. I don't know if it's pronounced as kita. Yep, it is. So that's the kunyomi reading then. Hi. Hi. Mo. Mo. Re. Re. Nu. Nu. Yu. Japan is located to the east of China. Nihon wa chugoku no higashi ni arimasu. I don't know if higashi is the kunyomi. Nihon wa. Oh, Hoku is north. Hoku is the, uh, I guess, the onyomi reading of north. And we know the south and the uh, west, which is Nansei, so that means it has to be northeast, I guess. Tō is east. So, kono michi wa hokuto ekimasu. That's, uh, this path goes to the northeast. Got him! Good stuff. Good old uh, deductive reasoning there. Kono. Kono michi wa... Michi. Wa, wa hokuto. Hokuto ni, ni ikimasu. ikimasu. As Rotundra is saying, uh, I agree. If I can learn hiragana, it's a miracle. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, it's so cool to be able to look at, or like right there where I was like, oh, I recognize like Hok is like north, like to be able to recognize something in another language, or like when you're able to have a conversation, like if you can go to a restaurant and like, um, like ask them to speak in Japanese and like even get a single idea across, like because I I can't like have a full conversation in Japanese and even when I order my food in Japanese I'll still get some things wrong but like to get like the smallest idea across and they understand you in another language like it's so rewarding 
uh, saying it's great at teaching bit by bit, and you can go as slow or as fast as you want. Yeah, it's it's really just a great app. I I enjoy meh. this a lot. And oh, I, I wrote me. Kitae ikimasu. I wrote me. Kitae ikimasu. Kitae ikimasu. Um, yeah, it's a great app, and I I think that um, learning it in in this way, where we can all sort of like converge and like compare ideas and stuff on stream, and then go back and and learn our stuff. And come back the next day, like it's really been a lot of fun. Oh, that's the same sentence. Ho station to hotel by car takes about five minutes. What? I said the same thing. It takes about five minutes to get from. Oh, I said to get to from. <laughs> That's what they docked me for? A single typo? I said it takes about five minutes to get to from the hotel state to from the station to the hotel by car. And I was supposed to say without two. Oh, stupid. To get from the station to the hotel by car. Everything exactly the same, except I didn't say to from, and it's fine. <laughs> Report it? Well, technically, I did have a typo, so I guess I can't be too salty about it. <laughs> um, okay, so we're at number 19. We're in the top 20 now. We need to get to the top 10, though. So we still have another um, yeah. practice to go, I guess. See what we got. Re. O. 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 Re. Re. Hi. hi me. Yu, mo. mo. Oh, see? Sometimes yu. you forget. And it's interesting because you'll never really stop forgetting certain characters. Like, or you'll never stop forgetting them. You'll never know them so well. Uh, unless it's like years from now or something. But I've noticed that, like, sometimes I uh, will still misread, like, some of the basic characters. Hare. Hare. E. He. E. e. Hi. Hi. O. O. So. so. Which is like, it's just very humbling, you know? It's like, it kind of keeps you in check. And I like that when they do the practice, like for anybody out there who's trying to learn Japanese or doing it on Duolingo, make sure you don't just learn new things and go down the list. Make sure every time, every session you have, like whatever amount of XP you're trying to fill up, that you spend uh, a large, portion of that time doing the practice rather than just learning new things because you you especially if you're starting do not know the things that you already learned you don't still know them you're not it's not guaranteed alexandru the god welcome to the stream uh you didn't say train station uh it's understood though in in my second one when i said it i specifically didn't write train station and it was counted as correct so that's not the thing that they were uh docking me for yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here that's um, like uh, sort of like context is a big part of Japanese where like there's a lot of words you can leave out of a sentence um, and still have it be understood as correct. First you pass by a small bank. Hajime ni chisana ginko no soba o torimasu. Hajime ni I don't really know the ginko um, kanji that well. I don't really know even what's on it. It's like a day or a sun. There's a roof on top on the left. Oh, no, no, no. That, okay, that really makes sense because it's that's the kanji for gold. So that makes sense. All right, let, we'll just look out for that kanji. We'll know it's bank. Good. Welcome in, Alexandria the God. I don't know that one. Let's take a look. Hold on. I'm going to try and do this without uh, having it translate. Let's raise it up. So this is the kanji for leader. That looks like, uh, hmm, I mean, it's like small gun and then uh, girl. 
Chinese. Gotcha. What does it mean? Oh, you're doing Chinese? Nice. So we don't uh, allow any uh, non-Japanese or English comments in the chat uh, just because it uh, will uh, sort of distract from the, the lessons that we're trying to do. But um, yeah, it's fascinating because the, the kanji in Japanese are the same as the Chinese characters. Um, so a lot of the kanji that you'll see on here will actually be, you will probably recognize them. And I'm not sure if the pronunciations are the same in Chinese, but I'll, let me post a couple of Japanese characters. Let me know if this is uh, so like we were just talking about this one. Is this pronounced sweet, which is uh, the kanji for water? I don't know if that's pronounced the same. But the onyomi readings, from my understanding, are supposed to be the same as Chinese, or at least they're derived from Chinese. Select the word for cloudy, kumori. Sunny is hare, kumori. How are you enjoying um, Duolingo, Alexandria the God? What is your um, your favorite uh, thing that you've been learning right now, or like what's your most recent thing that you've been learning? So like, not necessarily like the exact word, but like the general. The thing we're learning right now, for example, is um, getting around town. That's like our general thing that we're doing. Fuyu. Room is heya. Konomichi wa nansei ni ikimasu. Konomichi wa nansei ni ikimasu. This path goes to the nansei southwest. Konomichi wa kono michi. Oh, it's just this. Wa nansei ni ikimasu. The, this is a good example of like tomorrow I probably won't remember all of the directions, but today I do. And the point is not to remember it forever the first or second or third time you hear it, but it's to remember it, you know, a hundred times from now. Eventually we'll know this off the top of our heads. Oh, okay. Sui is more of shui in Chinese, but it means the same. Nice. So maybe it's that the Japanese um, pronunciations are like derived from Chinese, but they're not necessarily the exact same. I'll post another one here. Um, let's see, what's like an onyomi reading? Uh, oops. Equals nichi. That's day, which is nichi or sun in uh, Japanese onyomi. Alexandria is saying, I love Duolingo. Yeah, it's really been just a great time. Me and Azure Tundra were just talking about that, where it's like, it's a, it's, it's so much fun to be able to like continuously improve in a language and especially to be able to stream it and like learn along with everybody. Winter is for you. Nishi ni arimasu. Nishi? Mm. Oh, okay. China is to the west of Japan. Chugoku wa. Chugoku wa. Nihon no. No. Nishi ni arimasu. Arimasu. Fuyu. Fuyu. Winter. Yoin wa konbini no minami ni arimasu. Yoin wa konbini no minami ni that's like a tongue twister. Byoin wa konbini no nima. Damn, it is a tongue twister. Byoin wa konbini no minami ni arimasu. Mina, no minami ni. That's hard to say. Uh, so the convenience store is to the minami uh, uh, south of the uh, Byoin, is just hospital. Konbini wa. Konbini. Wait, what did I write? I didn't look at what I wrote. Hajime ni chisa na ginko no soba o tolimasu. Yoin wa konbini no minami ni arimasu. Oh, I did it the opposite. I heard it, or I didn't remember what I heard. It was actually Byoin wa konbini no minami ni. So that's, uh, as for the hospital, it is to the south of the convenience store. Byoin wa 
はコンビニの南に,ビニの南にあります。Oh, Alexander saying that is Ri, but it also means day sun. Oh, so maybe that's similar to he, which is a.、Uh, he is,、uh, is day sun. So maybe that's like their similar thing in Japanese. That's really fascinating to me that they're the same character set. Like, that's the way it's described to me is that, like,、um, like, a Chinese person would know what a sentence or what, like, a sentence full of kanji meant, but they wouldn't know how to pronounce it in Japanese.、Um, and that's why they say that, like, if someone knows Chinese, then they're going to have a lot easier time learning Japanese because they at least already know the alphabet. So they don't have to, like, go through that part where they learn, like, all the different pronunciations, or not the pronunciations, but the meanings of them. As a Chinese saying, it's cool that you can repeat it from one listen. I play the file at least three times. Yeah, it definitely comes with, with,、uh, with practice, but、uh, I still can't recognize a lot of them, especially if they're new ones. But the biggest thing that you'll notice is once you get down like, the, the grammar, like wa,、uh, o, ga, like all the generic like, grammatical particles that go between things, then you understand. like, Okay, they said wa here, so that means this has to be a noun or a verb between it or whatever. Like, it's very sort of like it breaks the sentence down into chunks, so it's like really easy to recognize things. But when I was first learning,、um, it was like it sounds like one big sentence full of things, and you don't really know, you don't have like anything to grab onto. But、uh, once you get like the grammar down really well, I think that's the big,、uh, the big differentiator. Okay, so we're gonna go back to household stuff. Wait, which one is this? This one is home. Yeah, household stuff. There is a kitchen.、Um, okay. Dai dokoro ga arimas. Dai dokoro ga. I think this is dai dokoro. Let's take, put it back in. Dai dokoro ga arimas. This is the kanji for. That one is axe. And I don't know what that is. It's like a door with something on it. And this one is a public mouth. Or no, private mouth. Maybe axe is supposed to represent like, the fact that you cut things in the kitchen or like, you, you chop them up or something. Hey, Alexandria the God, welcome in、uh, to the Meatball Marauders. Can we get a hype in that chat for Alexandria the God joining? Welcome, Yokoso, to the Meatball Marauders. And、uh, don't forget to wave your computer screens, ladies and gents, for Alexandria the God. They can feel it wherever they are. <laughs> feel the, way, the power of the wave. Take these 20 meatballs that you get for following. Use it to buy yourself your very own Japanese kanji.、Uh, you can have one kanji that you'll just, it'll be your like, best friend. It'll hang out next to you. You can、uh, pet it or you know, take it to the store with you or something. It's a pet, but it's a, it's a letter that is also a pet. Enjoy your Japanese kanji and enjoy. Your stay in the Meatball Marauders. You can type exclamation mark meatballs to check your channel currency of meatballs. It's uh, uh, in there. Or you can see your channel ranking, which is based on how many meatballs you have. That's、uh, in the brackets. You can also type exclamation mark games to see the full list of seven concurrent video game series that we're playing on the channel,、uh, aside from our Duolingo stuff, which we do every day. Welcome in. Now let's、uh, jump back into the Duolingo. Let's get another hype in there, though, for Alexandria the God joining the fold. お風呂はどこですかお風呂はどこですか Where is the bathtub? There is no bathtub. Oh, that was like, a sen- like two sentences put together. お風呂で、uh, You'd probably say, お風呂はありません。お風呂お風呂はありません。あります。台所です。台所です。Where is the kitchen? Daidokoro wa doko desu ka? Daidokoro wa doko desu ka? Heya wa doko desu ka? Heya wa doko desu ka? The school is in Japan. Oh, interesting. Gakko wa nihon ni arimas. I don't think we've ever gotten that. Gakko wa nihon ni arimas. You know how sometimes you get used to like, the specific things they might ask you to say on Duolingo? Like, as you do it more, you're like,、oh, okay, like, this is out of a set 
thing of yeah, like questions. It is a kitchen. Daidokoro des. Daidokoro des. Daidokoro wa doko deska? Daidokoro wa doko deska? See, they let you slide with typos like that. It is a room. Um, Heya des. Heya des. Toile ga arimas. Toile ga arimas. Oh no, there's a toilet. But it also is there's a bathroom. Where's the room? Uh, Heya. Wa doko desu ka? Heya wa doko desu ka? Dai dokoro ga arimasu. Dai dokoro ga arimasu. Where's the bathtub? Ofuro wa doko desu ka? Ofuro wa wa doko desu ka? Desu ka? Heya ga arimasu. Heya ga arimasu. Uh, there's a room. It is not a bathtub. O fudo de wa ari masen. O fudo de wa ari masen. Got him. Good stuff. Oh man, we have done a lot of Japanese learning today. Let's get a.、Uh... Oh, that's 120 right there. Good stuff, guys. Can we get some hype for 120 days in a row on Duolingo? Very good stuff. Where are we sitting on those leaderboards? Oh, we got our 120 day streak lingots. We got 12. So I guess you get one tenth of the days for lingots. And now let's do our timed practice, which, once again, this will give, for anybody who doesn't know, it'll give us 30 seconds to do 20 questions, but we get more time every time we get a question right. So let's see what we can do. Here we go. Hey. Hey. Send some hearts, ladies and gents. Exclamation mark hearts in that hey. chat. Hey. hey. Well, at least they're giving us、hey. some、so. softballs here. So. Mo. Mi. Mi. O. O. E. 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 So. Soto.、Oh, there's a barbecue grill?、Mm. I like that. So. So. E. e. Ne. E. e. As a tundra getting those hearts and that hype, thank you, as a tundra. Small as chisai. Oh, it's a little mouse. I get it. He. He. Me. Me. Le. De. Mo. Mo. He. Mi. Mi. Sometimes I say he because it looks like an H. Daytime is hiru. I do not have a family. Ie, kazoku, uh, wa arimasen. Um, or I would say like, mote masen. I don't think that counts for people though. I would say kazoku wa arimasen. Ie, kazoku wa. Kazoku wa. Ari. Imasen. That's right, because it's not an inanimate object. Oh, and that's the kanji for kazoku. Good stuff. Soto. I try not to like rush through it if I, even if I'm doing a time practice, like I try to actually learn it. How many people are in your family? Oh, I'm not sure if I know it. Kazoku ga. Anata no kazoku ga. Or maybe it's a go kazoku ga. Nan nin imasu ka. Yeah, go kazoku wa nan nin imasu ka. That's what I'm going with. Go. They give us a go? They do not. Maybe we have to say anata no. Nope, we just don't say anything. Kazoku wa nani jin i masu ka. Wow. I would say go kazoku. Ie? 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 Oh, ie. House. Hiru. Hiru. Uchi no hondana wa chisai desu. Uchi no hondana wa chisai desu. Uchi no. Uchi no. Hon. Hon. Dana. Oh, we have to say hondana as one word. Hondana wa chisai desu. Yeah. Yeah. Hiru. Hiru. Got him. Good stuff. All 20 questions, ladies and gents, and that moved us up one more leaderboard rank. We're at sitting pretty at number 18 on the leaderboards. As a tundra getting that height, thank you, as a tundra. I'm feeling pretty good about that one, guys. Good stuff. Oh, man. Let's take the show out then, guys. Let's call that a show. That is 120 days in a row. How crazy is that? That would mean like an average of, of around four months on Duolingo now,、uh, doing every single day for the last four months. Not bad at all. Now,、uh, let's get a raid going, guys. We're going to get ready for a raid here and join somebody's、uh, stream. Alexandru, the God saying, I need to stop slacking today and study some more. That's the spirit. I love it. It's fun because it actually is fun. Like, it's, like a, it's like a video game almost. 
<laughs> they have a category for it on Twitch now. So there you go. It is, in, in the technical sense, a video game. Uh, and, and they do a really good job at making it fun and adding like points and leaderboards and all that stuff. So it's really just a great app. Best of luck to you, Alexander the God. Alexander the God, gambate kudasai, which means do your best or best of luck. Um, and I uh, hope to see you again soon. Everybody who is uh, interested in joining a raid, make sure you uh, copy down that raid message and uh, we're going to paste that into the stream we join. So that says, Meatball Marauders are here to party. Copy that down, or if you're on a device that you can't copy, then uh, make sure to write your own raid message and get ready to paste it into the stream that we join. But everybody out there, you have a few uh, minutes to do that because we're gonna take the show out right now. If you don't know the channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all uh, story-focused games on here, but this one is a secret fourth daily stream that we have been now doing for the last 120 days in a row where I brush up on my Japanese through Duolingo and you guys are able to join along with me. Now, if you wanna see which games are being played on the channel, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going. Uh, and if you like what you saw today, don't forget to hit that follow button as well. Up top, you see a follower goal of nine. We are currently at six right now. So we are moving, ladies and gents. We are two thirds of the way there. We're gonna be doing a voice of Nick voice once we get to that follower goal live on stream. The 28th entry in the Twitch playbook is out right now as well. That one is called Make Your Streams More Watchable. And that's gonna help you to increase visibility on your streams for everyone who's watching, no matter what platform they're watching on. Really important stuff, guys, give that a look. If you don't know the Twitch playbook, it is a free podcast I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. Every episode is 10 minutes or less, so it's very bite-sized, and it's been coming out for the last 28 weeks in a row, so there's plenty of it. You can find it on iTunes, on Spotify, on all the major podcast platforms by searching for the Twitch Playbook, or you can type exclamation mark playbook into the chat, you'll get a link directly to it. Now, if you like the channel, you wanna support the stuff that I do, then consider subscribing. Subscribers get a whole bunch of stuff on here, including the voice of Nick Emo, legendary status in the chat and Discord, 200 meatballs, higher chance to win in the heist minigames and ad-free streams. Another great way to support the stream is to cheer or donate. Cheers and donators both get custom Voice of Nick voices as their shoutouts. On the donation leaderboards this week, we have Azertundra in first place with $10. Thank you so much to Azertundra. That is a gold star donation. On the cheerleaderboards, we have in third place, Gaming Hour with 375 cheer. That is a purple level cheer. Thank you to Gaming Hour. Second place is Soongyan with 600 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Soongyan. First place is The Goonie with 1,000 cheer. That is a teal level cheer. Thank you to The Goonie. Thank you so much to everybody who supports this channel. It is highly appreciated. You're directly helping these shows to get better. Every single day, I improve at least one thing about this family of channels here, whether it is tweaking the Twitch streams you see in front of you, whether it's uh, creating and posting content that goes on the social channels, whether it is updating or improving the Discord or Wiki, whether it is uh, writing, recording, posting all the Twitch playbook entries, all of that stuff, guys, is in large part thanks to all of you for supporting these streams by cheering, donating, subscribing, gifting subs, or gifting games. Thank you so much to everybody who does it. It is very highly appreciated. And a big shout out to all of our mods and admins who make the community here so amazing. Thank you guys. Now uh, let's head into a raid. Let's see what we can find. The way we do raids on this channel is a little bit different than you may be used to. We always raid somebody who's playing a previous game in our playthrough series. So there's not to see any info about games that we're currently playing or any games that we plan on playing in the future, 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 future. Let's see uh, what we can find here. There's a whole bunch of amazing video games that we have uh, previously done on this channel. And uh, I think that we may have some good ones lined up here. So uh, <clears throat> we have a couple of, uh, of possibles. Aha, this is perfect. So it is not a game we've played, but it is a game that does not have a story. So we are all good on that front. We're gonna raid Sam Van Dane, who is currently playing RimWorld. And if you've never seen RimWorld before, this game is crazy. Um, it's almost like trying to learn a language <laughs> of your very own. So um, let's see what we find on here. Yeah, it's, it's a really insane game. It basically simulates everything. Uh, so something's about to happen. Something's bound to happen. Let's all join in Sam Van Dane's stream, ladies and gents. Make sure you copy down that raid message. The Meatball Marauders are here to party. Or write your own raid message if you can't copy and paste things. The point is we want to make sure that it is known. We are all coming in that raid together and just bringing the party over to Sam. So let's all enjoy that. Uh, thank you, Alexandria the True God. This is impressive outro. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, and thank you to Ezra Tundra for posting those links. Let's get it. I will see you all later. We have two more video game streams coming up later today. But until then, mata asane and gambate kudasai. Bye-bye, guys.